Hello, everybody. I'm Kenneth Copeland. Welcome again to the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast. And we're here at, at um, Kenneth Copeland Bible College. Isn't that amazing? Yes. Yes. Kenneth Copeland Bible. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad. Hallelujah. I get a chance to, to teach and, uh, and have somebody sitting there to hear it. <laughs> that actually wants to hear it. Praise yes. God. Well, I have a desire to fill you with everything I've learned, which is not a whole lot, but it, you know, 57 years, like I said earlier, you can, you can stumble up on a few things. <laughs> no, I had good teachers. And um, beginning with Oral Roberts and then Kenneth e. Hagan and T.L. Osborne and, and uh, T.L. Lowry, and whew, glory to God <laughs> over the years. And, and, and I, I cannot leave out my... My pastor and his wife, the Nichols, and a wonderful thing. When um, we, uh, of course, I was raised in the Southern Baptist Church, and Gloria's raised in the Church of Christ, and, and uh, <clears throat> but we went to, uh, since Grace Temple is our home church, uh, <clears throat> Brother Nichols baptized Gloria and me and John and Kelly. Praise God. And it stuck. <laughs> it took. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So now we're here once again <clears throat> in that the, the most important Passover meal that has ever happened. And the thing that his disciples did, did not understand they didn't understand it until after they saw him go to the cross. Then, you remember what we read? I will bring to your remembrance. Or have we read that yet? Anyway, it's right there. I will bring to your remembrance everything that I have said to you. And then they saw all of that and they said, that's what he said yesterday. And we didn't know it. So here we are. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> 16th chapter. These things have I spoken unto you that you should not be, be offended. Remember in Mark chapter four? Being offended takes no account of a wrong done. Amen. That is one of the devil's biggest and most successful tools is, well, did you hear what they said about me? <laughs> no, and I don't want to know. Right. And I've had people walk up to me and, uh, and say, you know, you know I love pastor. I don't want to go any further. Because right. Yeah. right here we're going to hear a butt. Right. Well, that's a good opportunity to get that butt out of the way. Yeah. 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 Amen. 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 The badge of unbelief is, yeah, but what if? That's what the Bible said. Yeah, no, it says that, but what if? I had a man in a prayer line. And I was younger than this man. And, but he was standing in my prayer line. And uh, I walked up there in front of him and started to lay hands on him. The Lord said, don't do it. So I said, now the Bible says, by his stripes you were healed. I know it says that. Are you healed? No. I got this. And I heard the Lord say, tell him you never will be. You never will be. I said, the Bible says by his stripes you were healed. He said, I know it says that. Are you healed? No, I've got this. I said, you never will be. Boy, I could see you know, his boiling place was about to happen. 
And the Lord said, do it one more time. And I did. Went through the same thing, but this time he's pretty mad at me. You know, he's older man and he knows it says that. I said, as long as I agree with you, you will never receive your healing. But I said, Mr. If, no, I said, brother, if you will agree with me, according to Matthew chapter 18, the two of us agree together, you'll receive your healing. He said, brother, lay hands on me. <laughs> I mean, I just barely touched him and the power of God knocked him backwards and, and just just literally floored him. Wow. And God, he got up and said, oh, glory to God, oh, glory to God. <laughs> he judged the Bible. I know it says that. What should he have said? I know he said that. It's a it. The Bible is not a it. It is the word of God. Why is it the word of God? It is his bond. And I dare say that most Christian people that they believe that but have really never thought about it in that light. It is the word. The Apostle John said, in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. It's His Word. You can depend on it. You can depend on it even more than you can depend on a highly trusted friend. A lawyer or, or a doctor, you can depend on this book. Thank you, Jesus. Now you have to be careful with some translations of it. But the, most of the, the main line ones are just excellent. My choice is the, is the classic amplified. And uh, I use it a lot. Well, my staff knows that. And so since Zondervan was done with it, they just put in a request for it and then surprised me when we got it. <laughs> and right now, when, in fact, um, at the time you're seeing this, uh, we have the uh, leather bound. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Isn't that good? Yeah. So if you want a new one, you know where to get it. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Now, <clears throat> now, let's go down here to the 13th verse. How be it when he, he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. He will glorify me for he shall receive of mine and show it unto you. Listen to me, class. Amen. No, listen to Jesus. Yeah. All things that the Father hath are mine. Therefore said I that he shall take of mine and show it unto you. Yeah. All of the wisdom, all of the knowledge, yeah. all of the spiritual power. Yeah. He'll show it to you Amen. when you inquire of him. Amen. One of the marks of King David, he didn't do anything without inquiring of the Lord. And that's one of the reasons that he's a man after God's own heart. He used his covenant. He used it on purpose. When he came up against Goliath, he was under 20 years old. 20 years old, he would have been in the army. Well, his, his father, Jesse, sent him to check on, sent some food 
And, and he came up there and saw his size. We heard him stand out there and roar. Think about it now. This just young boy, he said, what do I get if I kill him? Right. <laughs> well, you get the king's daughter and your, your family's exempt from taxes. And he just kept saying that. And that's finally they took him up in the presence of King Saul. And he's, and I'm paraphrasing now, he said, he is a warrior from, from his youth and you're but a young lad. Listen to what he said. I was keeping my father's sheep and a bear came out. And and took up one of my father's sheep. I killed him. A lion came out, took up one of my father's sheep. I killed him. And that uncircumcised Philistine doesn't have any more authority over me than that lion and that bear. (laughs) King Saul, all of his brothers, and every man in that army had all been circumcised on the eighth day because that's what God commanded Abraham and his family to do. He said, I'll kill him. He does not have a chance against me. So he picked up five smooth rocks, put them in his shepherd's bag, put one in that sling. Now, I don't know whether any of you have ever used a slingshot or not. That's fun, isn't it? (laughs) And the longer that thing is, I'll tell you, it's like a rifle bullet. And uh, you take one part of it, wrap it around your finger and a knot in the other end and you put the thing in there and, and turn that one loose and you practice with it long enough, I mean, you can hit with it. But he added more to that. He said, you curse me by your gods, but I come at you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the angelic armies of God. That was a dead man right there. He could go no farther because David knew his covenant. And he ran towards him. Yes. Now, none of this Hollywood <laughs> stuff. He ran. He was running towards him. Mm-hmm. You can run towards your giant too. Yes. You put that word in your mouth. Yes. He was running towards him. And I mean, he cut loose with that and hit him right here. Mm-hmm. Just sunk into his forehead. The only unprotected that helmet covered everything else but that. And he fell and he took his sword and cut his head off. Now one translation said, he killed him with the rock and finished him off with that sword. (laughs) I like that. He finished him off. Picked up his big old head and started running with it. Think about it. Put that in your mind. I mean, just blood and hair and eyeballs all over the place. (laughs) Blood running down his arm, swinging that head. It scared those Philistines. (laughs) I won't go any further with that. And in private sometime, I'll talk to you about it. But, <clears throat> and the Lord asked me, who made David king? Well, Samuel is the one. I said, Samuel. He said, no, Goliath. All of Israel knew him and would follow him. He's a man of the covenant. Glory to God. Never lost a battle and never got wounded. Thank you, Jesus. Now, here we, let's, let's look at this again. Now, all of this, how be it, 
when the spirit of truth is come, when did he come? On the day, on the day of Pentecost, which was 50 days after the cross. How be it when he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. He will. And he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto you. All things that the Father hath are mine. Therefore said I that he would take of mine and show it unto you. Yes. How? Out of that book. Yes. Yes. Out of that blood covenant book. Yes. Yes. That's him. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That, is, that book is him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, praise God now. Hallelujah. He will take what's mine and he will show it unto you. Now, I'll, I'll, and you know the story of this. The man called blind Bartimaeus do you remember what he said? Son of David. Yes. He knew who he was. Yes. Now, he said, have mercy on me. No, now he's a Jew. Son of David, do hesed for me. Yes. Hesed, that covenant word that the less is blessed of the greater yes. on an equal basis. Well, it's a word that God used. And that's literally what he said. Well, the, his surrounding, they had let that slip. It didn't mean anything to them. They tried to get him to shut up. But he said, Jesus, stop. Well, of course he did. He said those two covenant words, son of David, do hesed for me. He stopped and called him. He'll do the same thing for you. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. He'll take the things of mine and show it unto you. So, now can you see Bartimaeus? He, he discarded his garment. That was his act of faith. Now in those days, it's no different than today. I mean, some people could fake blindness, and uh, but you had to go to the priest and prove you, you had to you had to go uh, for leprosy, blindness, and those kind of things, and they made sure that he was actually blind, and he had a beggar's coat on, and he just started toward Jesus and dumped that coat. Well, how, how, do you, how do you think he found him? He heard him. <laughs> Amen. But now this is what Jesus said. He, I'm paraphrasing. He said, Bartimaeus, uh, what do you want me to do for you? He's no different. What do you want me to do for you? Lord, he called him Lord that I might receive my sight. He said, go your way. Your faith has made you whole. What faith was it? He took off that beggar's garment before he even took a step. I'm not gonna need this anymore. I'm not gonna need this. And it, and it says, immediately he received his sight and followed him yeah. in the way. Yeah. Well, of course he did. Yeah. Amen. 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 Isn't that wonderful? Yes. Yes. So he hasn't changed. The book hasn't changed. 
Thank you, Jesus. Okay, go over there to the book of Hebrews for a moment. Don't lose your place here. It's in the fourth chapter of the book of Hebrews. And uh, the 12th verse. For the word of God is quick and powerful. It's, it, it's alive, Amen. powerful. Sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and the marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. The word of God, his. The word of God, he. This is him. This word is him. Praise God. So, yeah, let's, I'll tell you what let's do. How, how much time we got to live? Not any. <laughs> God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he not said, and will he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Behold, I receive commandment to bless, and he is blessed, and I can't reverse it. Amen. That's Numbers 23. Well, Jesus, the son of man, didn't have to repent but he taught us to. Well, uh, you're not, you're not going to be busy tomorrow, are you? <laughs> okay, we'll be back in just a moment. KCBC is where I built a solid faith foundation before I started my career. With our busy schedules, finding a college with a close community and shared values was so important to us. And we found it here. At KCBC, I renewed my identity in Christ. I got a second chance and found my purpose. I discovered my calling here at KCBC. Immerse yourself in a community of family and faith here at Kenneth Copeland Bible College. Through practical and classroom education, get equipped with what you need for your next steps in life and ministry with faith, integrity, and excellence. Get hands-on ministry and outreach opportunities, discover new gifts and talents, and learn biblical education from seasoned instructors. Kenneth Copeland Bible College is here to help you find clarity of purpose in your life and ministry. Find your purpose, discover your calling. For more information, go to kcbiblecollege.org. Do you ever wake up and feel like the weight of the world is on you? You know you're called to be a light for God in the darkness, but your flame has become a flicker? Feed your spirit and build your faith with Kenneth and Gloria Copeland's From Faith to Faith, a daily guide to victory. A devotion for every day of the year, each page offers scripture readings and practical word-based teachings to help you take hold of God's promises. Use it as a personal, family, or group devotional and dive deeper into the Word of God. Drawing from their own experiences, the Copelands guide you through applying God's Word to make significant changes to get on the victory side of life. Whether you're struggling with weariness, offense, relationships, finances, or addiction, From Faith to Faith will uplift your spirit and set the tone for each day to be filled with purpose and faith. Embrace wisdom and watch as you grow from faith to faith. Request your free copy of From Faith to Faith, the daily devotional by Kenneth and Gloria Copeland. Receive God's wisdom, energize your faith, and take hold of your covenant promises. Go to kcm.org slash TV special or call 800-600-7395. Offer good for 60 days. Outside the United States, shipping charges may apply. Contact your regional office for more information. Hello, I'm Larry Warren. We're at the beginning of a new year and many are making resolutions and setting goals for the future. This is a time to seek God about the things ahead. Jeremiah 29, 11, 13 shares insight into God's good plan for us. For I know the plan that I have for you, says the Lord, their plans for good and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope. In those days when you pray, I will listen. 
If you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. If you've never received Jesus into your heart and made him the Lord and Savior of your life, then today is your day. Pray this prayer with me. Lord, I confess my sins before you. I turn my life over completely. Take over and be the Lord of my life. I receive you as my savior. I receive your Holy Spirit. I receive my new language. Thank you that I'm born again. Amen. Glory to God. Your spirit is born again. And the Bible says, if you are in Christ, you're a new creation. Old things have passed away and all things have become new. You are a joint heir with Jesus. And because you are united with him, you have an inheritance from God. Kenneth and Gloria Copeland want to help you begin your journey of faith by sending you the salvation package. You'll receive a book called He Did It All For You and some information to help you start reading and studying your Bible. Philippians 1, 6 tells us we can be confident of this. He who has begun a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. So read your Bible, develop your faith and keep growing spiritually. To request your free copy of the salvation package, go to KCM.org. Prayer is the foundation of Kenneth Copeland Ministries. There's a prayer department in all of the KCM offices around the world with licensed prayer ministers who are trained in the word of God to pray in faith with you. So if you need prayer, call us today. We've heard Gloria Copeland teach us that it is through consistency that lies the power. We consistently put the word of God in our eyes and our ears until it comes out of our mouth in faith. Faith is the victory that overcomes the world. Oh, it's good to have you with us in these classes. Uh, isn't it, it's, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. And we, we welcome you here. You're the thrill of our hearts. And uh, we just, and all of you partners, we pray for you every day. I pray for you every meal. Amen. Those that are not partners, we have more to do than we can do. So come on, partners. We'll see you tomorrow. Until then, this is Kenneth Copeland and all the class at KCBC here and in Canada reminding you again that God loves you and we love you and Jesus is Lord. Shout amen. Learn more about who you are in Jesus and who he is in you. Request the salvation package free on kcm.org salvation.